Hello, I'm Danny D. Heck. Would you believe hibernation is a rinse and repeat from Hyperverse? Hyperverse was a rinse and repeat from Hyperfund, and Hyperfund was a rinse and repeat from Hypercapital, which is all derived from a company called Hypertech Group, which theoretically, Ryan Zhu is a crypto genius mining expert who started all this Ponzi scheme activity. Now we have a problem and I need your help. It's not rocket science, you just need to hit the thumbs up button when you're watching this video to help get this video out to the masses. Now this video is completely different to a lot of the other videos I have done. The reason why it's different is I've put together a combination, compilation, compilation, I think I got it right, a whole morning of trying to pronounce that word and I think I got there. <laughs> Oh, okay, anyway, or a collection was my backup word of 30 videos. Now these are the end clips of all the hyper community training. So the people that are in the pictures have names and handles and I am about to name and shame them. So what this means is you will actually see a list of everybody's name in the notes. Now if you're not used to using notes, you can go along to my YouTube channel, click on a video, and if you hit the more button at the end, you'll see I put timestamps. So this time, I'm gonna put timestamps using everybody's names that is in the clips, which is gonna be pretty cool. Now the only really annoying thing about this is this. Hey guys, see you later. Thank you for the leadership. Okay, so it's quite noisy because they're all deliriously happy. Now, what, what I've found really interesting about the new Hyper Nation is, is Hyperverse basically made all these false claims that people were going to get three times their investment, four times their investment, and people, they had their withdrawals were frozen. In the meantime, all the VIP people had made a ton of money. I was speaking to one guy that had actually made $200,000 he only recruited 200 people. Now, most VIP fives have recruited 2,000 people. That means each one of those VIP fives has actually brought in $8 million for Hyperverse. Hyperverse has basically stolen the money. There's Tron transactions showing massive amount of crypto being transferred out on one person's account. Now, we've got VIP trainers like Keith Williams, Brenda Chunder, um, Keith Patel, who Keith Patel is an ex-jailbird who actually was rumouredly taking out a million dollars a day. I heard $10 million a month, and then I've had people saying it was a million dollars a day. Now, he's moved to Dubai, living with Ryan and Sam Lee, who are meant to be connected with this, but who knows the truth? But the problem that we have had now is hibernation has rebranded. It doesn't even seem to be the same identity as Hyperverse because they don't want any of the debt that Hyperverse had, which means it was actually impossible for them to pay back the money they promised people. In the meantime, the VIP fives that have been recruiting their friends and family into this have taken all the money. They are the ones that have been able to withdraw. So they have had training sessions. And every Saturday morning and all around the internet, you'll see Zoom meetings popping up. And I've actually put together 30 of these meetings. And I've actually, it's like a police lineup. And I really need your help. I need you to hit the thumbs up. I need you to watch these videos. And in the comment, comment, comment section, I need you to post a timestamp and the person's name, because a lot of them don't use their real name, which is a pretty good idea if you're a scammer. But some people have used their real name and I'm out to name and shame them. So let me just briefly show you how this will work. And my light's just gone out and I'll fix that in a minute. Okay, so if you look at one of my videos, um, I have to refresh it because I did this video 10 times previously. All right, so when you're looking at any of my videos, you will see that there is a more button at the end of the text. When you wow, click, a very exciting oh, video. Back. Ooh, when you click on that text, you'll see that I have timestamps and I put in the time. So if you do see someone you know in one of these videos that we're about to watch, 
please do um, put their name. So, for example, if Keith Williams is your friend, then put their name and then put what time it was. So if Keith Williams was in it at 10 minutes 15, put 10, 15, and then when people click on that name, it will take them to that very Hello, part my name is of Susan Goldsmith. the video where that person is in. Now, if you don't want to use your YouTube name and you don't want to be exposed, then what you could do is you can go along to theheck.com, which is my personal website, well, my business website, because I do this full time because I don't have a life, so I've been told, and click on the contact button. Now, in the subject line, if you want to keep your name anonymous, just put anonymous in the subject line and I won't mention you ever again. I'm after tips, anything you can do to help me. So without further ado, which is something I should never say, I want to sit here and listen to this noise for the next 45 minutes. But I want you to help me. We can't let these people who have now invested to be part of Hyper Nation. These guys have actually invested $10,000 to buy a purple NFT. Now it's rumoured that 1,000 people have paid $10,000 to actually get a passport to get into hypernation. Now, when they're in hypernation, that means they can recruit more friends and family and rinse and repeat and start another massive Ponzi scheme. I want your help to stop that. I have been talking to so many people. Some people have lost $80,000. Some people invested. I talked to a guy who had lost $100,000 in a Ponzi scheme. Don't let it happen. Let's start speaking up for ourselves. Don't let me do all the work. I'm not just the one-man band, but I am dedicated to stopping Ponzi schemes. Some of these VIPs have invested $100,000 so that they can get in at the bottom so they can scam people. Now, they've got reward systems in the new hyper nation, and people will think they will invest what they can afford to lose, which is the dumbest saying ever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this screen play and I might stop it along the way. So look for people's names. As I said, I want a database of people who are actively involved. These are not nice people. They are training themselves how to use techniques on how to scam people. They are the people that will ring you up and say, G'day Mildred, I haven't heard from you for a long time. How have you been? How's life going? I've got this opportunity that I'm involved in and I would like you to get involved in it too. It's a passive income opportunity. If you get a phone call from one of these people in this police lineup, then we can do our bit to help stop, slow these people down. And if you are thinking about getting involved in hyper community and being on these Zoom meetings and putting your name and your face out there, I will do my best to name and shame you. But if you're watching this and you have been ripped off by hyper fund, hyper capital, hyperverse, or now hyper nation, you can tip me off and tell me um, people's names. And remember, timestamp them so I know who they are because I don't know all these people and there's thousands of them. There's meant to be have a million people have actually signed up to be part of the hyper community. So let me start this off and you can listen to all the lovely noises. I might turn it down a little bit, but some of it's quite comical as well. Now, luckily, there's 30 of these clips to go through, but if you see anyone's name, please post them in the comments below. And I might do this on a regular two minute interval. Remember, this is rampant. It's in many countries of the world. So a lot of the people I've never seen before, but if you have, please do let us know. We want their full names, first and last name, and a timestamp. You may need to flick into full screen and you may need to use the pause button. 
What really gets me about this game is they actually go after the black African community and they also go after people that have religious beliefs, which they claim to be the same as the scammers. Now, I was brought up in a religious cult and a lot of the techniques they use are just breathtaking and they are very biblical and they do believe they're doing this in the name of God. And they also use NLP training. So I won't get started why it really pisses me off that these guys think it's okay to scam people. Just in case you're wondering, the person in the top left hand screen is normally the main ringleader running the Zoom meeting. So Andrew Martin is probably a VIP five and the other people in the window are probably VIP one, two or three or four. But not everyone is in here. Now, part of the new thing with Hyper Nation is that if you don't log into your Hyper community or your Hyper Nation account once a day, you don't get brownie points and you could lose your account. So they really are trying to get people to, with blinkers on, follow and stay part of the community. So And tell them not to watch YouTube videos like this. So if you're a VIP5, you're naughty. You shouldn't be watching me. Um, bye. 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 So this is when Keith Williams and Kalpesh Patel uh, were doing their best. Now I'm going to do another video because I've got um, videos of Kalpesh teaching people how to create multiple accounts. And I've also got Keith saying it's okay to create multiple accounts. And part of the reason Hyperverse fell over theoretically was because there was people who had had a, an account structure of 21 people and that was all avisos from the leaders at the top and this is why they reckon that uh, it accelerated the collapse of Hyperverse which basically means even though Keith and uh, Kalpish uh, were part of a community and love their community they have actually been scamming the community by interlacing fake accounts in between people they're training. I think Keith is actually like a cult leader uh, and we haven't seen much of him since the launch of Hyper. We've seen nothing of him actually since the launch of Hyper Nation. Personally, I think he's now recruiting Pinnaki Nark and um, he is now going to replace and take over the Hyper Verse because there's people who won't move over to Hyper Nation and want to stay in Hyper Verse because they are scared that they won't get their promised rewards or their one time, their initial investment back. But it's all a load of bullshit. Even the, uh, I'm going to do a video on the new launch, the second launch of Hyper Nation in the next 24 hours. But see, I get a lot of first names in these but I don't get the last name. So that's where I'm asking for your help. If you can help name and shame uh, anonymously via my website, or you can simply um, just post it in the comment section and I'll add it to the show notes. This one's not very exciting because for some reason I haven't got their names on it. They've got Ys. Which is a good thing too. If you are a scammer and you really want to keep your identity, you really want to learn how to hide your name. 
But with great things these days like face recognition and Google Vision, I can literally take a screenshot of your face and do a search and find you on the internet. It's awesome. <laughs> Now this, this particular video was actually when they were promoting Hyper Fund. So this actually goes back over two and a half years. And in this particular Zoom meeting, there was only a hundred people. And now these days, when they have these Zoom meetings, they get up to eighteen hundred people, a thousand people in the main room, and they have an overflow room as well. So these were the early days, and this is what alarms me the most: is the fact that these people who are now been trained up and and they've reskinned hyperverse into hypernation which seems like a different entity are ready to out, go out there and do a better job at scamming people no matter what the cost uh and um it just makes me sick thank you, you. thank you yes bye bye Bye. thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Good Appreciate night. it all. Good Great night, sir. Good night. Guys. 500, and we probably had a couple of hundred trying to get in. Well done. Special. Well, 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 oh, it must done. have been another video because I remember another one I watched two and a half years ago, they only could get 100. Now, if you look at this video, there's probably 75% of the people here are black. And they are, I've watched other videos with people training these people how to actually buy crypto and then teaching them how to actually buy a yellow NFT. Now, there was Pinnakey actually slipped up the other day and said that 70,000 uh, yellow NFTs were sold, which means $7 million worth, which may seem like a lot, but considering that one VIP five would actually bring in $8 million when they were promoting Hyperverse, it actually seems like Hypernation is a flop. But Hypernation's video presentations are very slick, and you can see they've obviously had a lot of capital to invest. But I actually think they've actually got a an underworld or um, that have rinsed and repeat everything they've learnt from these Ponzi schemes, and I think they've got uh, new investors in. So remember to pause it, put the names and the first and last names, I'm not really interested in stories, sorry. I'll be keeping pretty busy keeping this list up to date. But put the first, last name, and the timestamp. So if it's two, five minutes in, it will be 00, zero colon zero five zero fifteen for 15, five minutes and 15 seconds into the video. And then I will add it into the timestamp. And if you want to check out the list of the scammers, by all means, um, post comments, post your stories below. Uh, and I'll go through them and I'll make sure I update the timestamps of all these dirty, disgusting scammers. Bottom feeders of the world, don't get Danny started. We're off, we're racing. Alrighty, so we've got some people on the top left. They are community. I can't even pronounce these names. I do think this is a different country. It's not in America. But if you know what country it is, I wouldn't mind knowing who, it, what country it's from as well because a lot of these faces I have seen in numerous videos, but I haven't been in their Zoom meetings because I start to go a bit loopy. But remember, first name, last name, and timestamp, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Remember, check out their names. Let me know. Thank you very much. Have a blessed Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks. You know, I reckon what is the real silly thing about this? These people actually think that they are, have bought a ticket to uh, a passport and they can't actually resell 
these NFTs, even though NFTs are sold with the idea of investment and selling it to someone else, as soon as you sell your yellow NFT to someone else, it doesn't work as a passport anymore. It's just like a real passport. You can't sell your real passport. So they're telling you to buy these valuable NFTs, which as soon as you fork out your money, there's no way that you can actually get your money back which is just another crock. So I've likened it to actually being a nightclub and the doormans decided to put a, um, a cover charge before you can get into the nightclub. And once you get into the nightclub, you've got some bimbo trying to sell you a, a very expensive membership plan. And they have got three levels of membership plans and you can also accelerate the level of um, return that you get from investing, which is even sillier. So this basically means that they don't have any assets. If you watch the Hypernation presentation, they have now told us that they still haven't even, they're going to do another launch when they have the white paper. The white paper is going to educate people on how it's all going to work when they come up with how it's going to work. And then a few months later, they're going to uh, release the yellow paper, which is like the um, structural engineer's sign off of the theory of what they're going to do in the metaverse. So, if you follow the whole hypernation event, there's actually no money in it. There's no money in it. There's no way of um, increasing the value of the company other than paying people their rewards from the membership money they get in. And no one's discussing where the money for the passports or the NFT is going. That's just a backhander for the doorman, which uh, seems like a just, uh, what do they call it? A cash grab. <laughs> It's disgusting. So all these people in these windows, and the reason why I'm doing this, I want to show you how many people are actually involved or how many people have been trained by people like Keith Williams. Now, Keith Williams and I have had a conversation, and I got the joyous opportunity of asking him how does he sleep at night knowing he has scammed hundreds and hundreds of people, and he still doesn't believe he's scammed. But he's been in these Zoom meetings for over two and a half, three years, every Saturday afternoon, training people how to talk to people who are thinking or hesitating about purchasing um, a membership plan in one of these Ponzi schemes. So it's time to fight back. It's time to actually say we've had enough. It's time for us to... Have you been getting those phone calls from people telling you that Amazon have charged your credit card for $100? Have you been getting those phone calls from people telling you that Apple has charged you for a new iPhone you never purchased? And then it's a digital message and when you ring up, you press button one and you get to one of those call centers in Sector 5 in India? Well, this is the same thing, but these are all Ponzi scam artists. They are professionals that have learnt how to scam people. And they're going to scam your friends. And they're going to scam you if you're a, a related to these people. They have been trained how not to blink when offering you an investment opportunity. They don't care about anyone else except themselves. And it's rampant. There's a scam demic out there. This could be worse than COVID. But instead, they're stealing your money. They're stealing from the poor and they're giving it to the rich. These people don't even know how to use the arse end of a computer and they are parting with their money they don't have. I've heard of people mortgaging their house um, their house to get into investing in Hyperverse and now they've reskinned themselves to Hypernation. This is appalling. It makes me sick to the bone. Help me name and shame these people. We don't need these people to manage your crypto. If you want to have a go at, you know, doing your own crypto, then just go along to an exchange and buy some. Have a play. It could be a good opportunity. These Ponzi schemes only survive when things are good and they're mathematically impossible. And there's only so many idiots out there that you can recruit. But a lot of these people in these windows have made a lot of money out of Hyperverse and you will not make any money. You are not smarter than the Ponzi scheme. If you think, I'll put my money in, I will double it and get out quick, good luck to you. You may be successful. For a Ponzi scheme to actually work and be successful, you need happy punters. These 
are the happy punters. These are the people that have managed, managed to actually make money out of hyper fund, hyper capital, hyper verse, and now hyper nation. There is a revolution going on at the moment. And as I look at these videos and these people and their faces, I see greed. I see people who will do anything to build their passive income. This is not the way to have a passive income. These people do not care about anyone except themselves. Name and shame them. Give me the timestamps of the people. I don't know everyone's name, but with your help, we can certainly shame a lot of these people. And this will also help the authorities when looking for evidence of these people being trained as scammers. If you've got a story that you want to share with me, come on to a live Zoom meeting with me and tell me your experience. I'm open to recording a session and I'll broadcast it as best I can. I need your help. I can't help you save your money. I get numerous emails from people. I get WhatsApp messages. I get Telegram messages of people telling me their stories. The first thing I say to them, would you be willing to come on to a Zoom meeting and telling me, tell me your story? And they say, oh, well... I would like to wait a wee while because I think I might still be able to get my money out. Wake up! Wake up! This is not right. You will not get your money back. There's no money left. The Hyperverse is still taking people's money. If you go to Hyperverse, you can still invest in Hyperverse today. If you go onto the internet and search, is Hyperverse a scam? You'll read hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of stories of people that have lost all their money. So why is Hyperverse still taking money in the front door? Because they're trying to pay back the people that have been scammed? No, because this is all about crooks stealing your crypto. Crypto is untraceable. They use fake claims. They tell us that people like Ryan Zhu is involved in Hyperverse. And Ryan Zhu hasn't been seen since Christmas time 2021, where he had a meeting with Bitcoin Rodney. Um, Kalpish Patel, Keith Williams, and a few other people I can't remember the names of, and they were talking to him face to face. This is the only time he has been seen on the internet or on a video camera. He could be locked up in a Chinese prison. We do not know. He told us that he got in trouble with the um, Chinese government because he paid $50,000 to actually get his photo taken with Donald Trump. And as a tech genius, as he said, then the Chinese government would pull him out. Now, I've been to China. It's very strict. You can't just travel around there like a happy tourist, which I intended to. It's, so I'm sure he could literally be locked up in a prison. We do not know. And if he is part of hypernation or hyperverse or hyper fun or hyper capital or is still an active the founder of a company called hypertech group then why isn't he talking about his baby he's why is he have to hide why does a company like hypernation have to have a representative called mr h who won't wear a mask will we'll wear a mask and won't let you know his identity why are people who are preaching the second launch um, wearing sunglasses and face masks. And why are you guys believing that this is a good investment? Is it because your friend or your family member has been trained by the hyper community and they believe they are doing good and changing lives? They are changing some lives. They are stealing money from the poor and giving it to the rich. Keith Williams, um, I heard a story the other day where a lady handed over $1,400 cash to someone in his team and they said they were going to um, set up a hyperverse account for them and they never did it the lady never got a cent and the guy promised to give her money back and then she drove an hour down the road waiting for an hour for the guy to turn up who never showed these guys are crypt, crypt you know if if you've paid cash to anyone let us know. Go to the authorities and tell them that you've been scammed because that is actually called money laundering. You are not allowed to take cash from one business and introduce it to another business because you'll get done uh, by the tax department and also it's called money laundering, which is illegal if you haven't been keeping up with current events. So why am I so, um, you know, hell-bent? I mean, look at, look at these people in this Zoom meeting right now. You've got Keith Williams with a big smile on his face. 
Um, we've got, I think that's Bitcoin blockchain. I think that uh, is Bitcoin Rodney. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it seven in? You know, I don't know anyone else in this particular one, but I do see the same names. I just don't recognize the um, faces. <sighs> The other day I got a death threat from someone tell me that they've put a price on my head, would you believe? I think they think they're back in the Roman days and someone is going to knock on my door and lock my head off with a with a sword. But, um, you know, people, these people we're playing with are dirty bastards and they will uh, try anything they can to stop people exposing them for who they are. So all you have to do, I'm not asking you to stick your neck out, I'm asking you to just hit the thumbs up button and name these people. Send me a message. If you go to my website uh, and have a look at deheck.com, click on my contact button and give me your name, your email address, and in the subject line, if you want to, put anonymous, put the, the timestamp and the person's full name in there, send it through to me, and then when you go to the show notes and you come down here, you will see that I will actually put... Um, a timestamp in there with the person's name. And these are some of the names I've currently got to add when I publish this video. And obviously I want to add it and have a full name. This will help the authorities stop these people from continuing. And also if the authorities do decide to do something about it because they're understaffed, they're probably the reason why they're not, then we will have evidence of these guys being trained to be Ponzi scammers. Schemers, gamers. I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and I'm going to be listening to these noises of people saying, See you, bye, 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 bye. Hello, great meeting. Hello, great meeting. Sorry, had a moment. I mean, the mentality of these people are absolutely dumb, aren't they, really? I mean, would you go onto a Zoom meeting knowing it's publicly recorded? As soon as you go into a Zoom meeting and it says, are you aware that this has been recorded live and you click yes, uh, you give people like me the authority to publicise this stuff. And um, there's Sheila. Now, Sheila is actually one of the people that have mortgaged her house. Now, this is funny, right? Well, it's not funny if you're Sheila, but Sheila's third one down underneath Bitcoin Rodney. She has literally mortgaged her house to get a $10,000 worthless NFT so that she can build her team underneath her. Now, with a $10,000 NFT, and I don't know this is 100% right because I don't let the truth get in the way of a good story. No, but with a $10,000 purple NFT, you can bring in 20 team members, which means that if they recruit and you teach them how to recruit and you look after your team members, then you can get some form of rewards. I'm not actually sure how the reward system works. And the funny thing about it is these VIP people, I call them VIPs because it's VIP 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And if you're VIP 5, that means you've actually recruited 2,000 people to sign up and invest 400 USDT, which is a whopping $8 million worth of money for Hyperverse at the time. So now they've frozen all the money and all the promised rewards that people were selling are no more. And they said that if you go and buy a purple, uh, sorry, a yellow NFT for $100, which is like the um, bouncer's um, entry fee or the passport, um, they will let you bring over your... Um, structure um and what else was it you'd bring over your uh i forgot not your rewards because i've started up a new it's really complicated but basically every single thing they said that would happen if you bought a yellow nft or a purple nft or a platinum nft hasn't happened it's just been give us more money give us more money give us more money Anyway, so now these people who have given more money, for example, Sheila, who's mortgaged her house and put $10,000 into a worthless NFT, do you think she's invested now? She is definitely invested and she wants to get her return on her investment as quick as possible. She will tell you a pack of lies. I was watching a Zoom meeting with her and she was 
educating people who didn't know even have a computer and they were trying to buy crypto on their phone and they were holding their phone up to the screen and she was telling them where to click and where to put their credit card details so that they could buy crypto. It was ridiculous and it's it's disgusting. And these people are all going, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. It's a divine intervention. It just makes me vomit in a bucket. Oh my god, I'm 16 minutes in. I've got 29 minutes of buys to go. What I will do is I will put timestamps in it. Hopefully I can break this into 30 different videos and then you'll know which ones to watch and start. Ah, sorry, it's Clayton Ford. I did a video on him the other day, not Bitcoin Rodney. I get them mixed up, you see. They all look the same. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Nice week ahead. Bye guys, happy Palm Sunday. Yes. Bye. 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 This is better than watching time. This is TV. Bye, Kimberly. Bye. Bye, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye, Trevor. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Fantastic. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Thank you all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is the worst thing I've ever done when it comes to videos. Make sure you do hit the thumbs up, make it worth my while. And if you can actually hit subscribe and click the thumbs up or the notification bell, you'll be notified as soon as I publish new videos. Now, if you've just tuned in and you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, I'm actually naming and shaming everyone that's been trained up in the hyper community. So if you do see people in here you know, and I haven't listed them in the show notes, well, I call them show notes, but in the comment section, so it goes to the title of the video, and you'll see a more button, you'll go in there and you'll see I've plucked out all the names I can, and I want a database of these VIP fives, fours, threes, twos, and ones, because these are the people that are out there actively promoting Ponzi schemes. And a lot of them have broken away from Hyperverse, 
now that Hyper Nation has come along and they don't like what they're offering, and they've been promoting other Ponzi schemes like WeWe.Global, um, Apollo. Um, there's just so many of them. I actually did a video, a few videos back, showing 45 different Ponzi schemes, which are very much the same as Hyperverse at the time, and now Hyper Nation, which is just reskinned from Hyper Capital to Hyper Fund to Hyperverse to now Hyper Nation. And these people have invested ten thousand dollars most of them have invested a thousand of them and that means they're out there because they invested to actually start recruiting people and starting over hoping that they're going to be as successful as hyperverse which actually only lasted for eight months and they stopped paying out a few months into it because they have these cash grabs and they're about to do the same again let's not get distracted you keep looking at these people. You recognize them. Let's name and shame them. Thank you very much. Have a very tough day. Tough day. Go to work. Thank you, Dale. May God bless. May God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank I just thought I'd stop it there. If you've just tuned in and you are watching on my YouTube live, I'm just putting together a video and I'm getting a bit bored to be honest, so I decided that I'd um push stream and get a video out there but what I'm doing is actually name and shaming everyone that has been part of hyper fund hyper capital hyperverse and now hyper nation and I'm asking people if they recognize anyone to put timestamps in it now probably not a good idea on the live stream but in about three hours time we will have a video online where you can actually name and shame people now I've gone through and got about 30 different clips and I've got people's faces. So it's like a police lineup. It's really good. But I'm just doing the video at the moment. So I, I'm getting bored. So I thought I'd stream the last part of me doing this video. So let's get back to it. Whoops. Have a nice weekend. Thank you guys. Thank family. Thank you, Hyper Family. Bye bye. I love you guys. Bye bye. Love everyone. So, what I'm doing in the background is I'm just taking a list. I'll show you. I'm actually writing everyone's name down that uh, I see in these videos. Um, as you see, I've got a big list here because these people need to be, be made accountable. And so if you see anyone in here, I'm tr obviously trying not to double up, but I've got 30 videos I've put together and I'm going through and I'm looking for every idiot who's dumb enough to be in a Zoom meeting and use their real name. And then I'm copying it through and I will put the times once I finish this video to actually so people can click in here. And what that basically means, if you've been training yourself in the uh, hyper community area and you um, have been scamming people, I'm going to name and shame you. So that means that when you search for your name on Google, you will come up as being part of a Ponzi scheme. So that's my mission today. And I'm asking people to help me by subscribing to my YouTube channel, hitting the thumbs up button. And that makes a huge difference. Simply because, um, I'll keep this going, you don't need to listen to all these goodbyes, because when you hit the thumbs up, it tells YouTube you like my video. 
and then when you finish watching the last YouTube video that you watched, it will suggest that this is a good video for you, and that's where they throw these videos in to the mix. Now, there's not many people out there busting Ponzi schemes, and I'm all dressed up, and I've got nowhere to go, <laughs> and I want to bust these Ponzi schemes for a living. So that means I need your help. I need you to subscribe. I want you to share these videos if you can, and then we will do our best to name and shame these people. And this will be a deterrent because people who think that they can get involved in Ponzi schemes and hide behind a computer and have a passive income when they're literally stealing from the poor and giving to the rich, I want to stop them. I've already had a death threat in the last couple of weeks um, because of my work and I want you guys to support me not by protecting me from some idiot, but just hit the thumbs up button and tell Google that you like these videos and that will help get these videos out. And if you do see someone in one of these videos, I don't know them all. I really want you to help me and we will do our best to name and shame these people. I wanna know the main ringleaders. And if you look at the top left of these videos, you can actually see who the main ringleader is, the one that is running the Zoom meeting at the moment. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to taking notes Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. God is love. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Happy holiday, Thank you. Happy holiday. Thank you. Happy holiday. Thank you. Happy holiday. Thank you. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Thank you. 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 Happy holiday. Thank and reading and writing, I literally have a reading and writing level of a 9.3 year old, so they told me when I got tested at the age of 23. The aid of technology has changed my life, and I use voice recognition, but when I'm recording these videos, I have to look at the name, and it's like tracing a picture for me, and it's painful. So please do, in the comments section, post you know, the person's name and the timestamp that you saw them. It will be great. Uh, not this video, the one that follows this. So you'll have to go through and look at my latest published videos. This one will be called, I had a name for it. What do we have the name of this video? I've, I've shut it, but I have actually got a name of it, but it'll be Name and Shaming the, the, the Scammers Who Stole $4 billion from people who were poor. Something like that. Anyway, look for the video and do your part to help me out. It'd be great. And let's go back. Jackie, <laughs> 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 Carolina <laughs> 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 Thank 
Thank you. 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 I'll just stop that one there for a second. Um, yeah, so you can see I'm taking notes. Um, maybe you recognize people in these photos. Please help me build a database of people that have scammed people. These are the future scammers. These people, a lot of them have invested $10,000. Yes, $10,000. So they can become part of the Hyper Nation. And they've just realized they've probably been scammed by Hyper Nation because these NFTs that they've paid $10,000 for don't really give them anything. They now have to purchase membership plans. However, if they recruit people with the membership plans that they retrieve, they get, um, they will be able to get more money quicker and accelerate the amount of money. They're offering seven times a 7% return on their investment. I don't know over what period, but last time it was over 600 days and then 1,330 days, which is ridiculous. It sounds too good to be true. If my grandmother ever gave me any good advice, they don't. she didn't because I don't even know who she is, but your grandmother might have said these words to you. If it sounds too good to be true, it often is. A lot of these people in these windows are not innocent, um, and I'm taking down their names because I want to name and shame them. But as I said, I need your help. Hit the thumbs up, uh, message me in the comment sections, timestamps of people that you see in these windows. Let's put a stop. Let's take back control and let's stop these people using technology crypto scams and crypto terminology that no one really understands and let's see what we can do to put a stop to these people Oop, press play <laughs> if I wake up with these voices in my head at 3 a.m. this morning, I'm coming back to complain to Facebook, YouTube. Thank you. Bye bye bye. Oh, this is a bit quieter. Don't forget me, Adrian, please. Thank you. I suppose I could turn it down a little bit. Right, Henry. Henry. Bye bye, thank you. Let's put it over here so you can see what I'm doing, make it more interesting. Ah, forgotten already. When when you're a dyslexic person, um, Bell, I have to look at the word and memorize what it looks like. And then once I've finished writing it, I have to go back and actually uh, look at it and see if it looks the same. So Henry Bell might be an easy name for a lot of people, but for me it does my head in. And also words that are close to like M or N or R, they all seem to merge together. So I'm going to try to do, I can't even pronounce it, Lauren, which just disappeared off the screen. And hopefully they'll come back because I started typing it. And I go, nope, can't do it. And now I'm going to Apostle. I don't think they wonder if that's their real name. But I'm looking for, like, Keith Warden, right? So Keith, e in Keith, and he's gone. Oh, no, there he is. Warden, Warden. And now I look at it, and I go, did I get it right? And I think I did. Now I have to go back and check. Yep, that's good. So you're a scammer. Now we're looking for... Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, Magenta Phillips. Magenta, I can't even say it, and I have to write it now. Jen, E N A, and then Phillips, P H O I. Now, Phillips is always a horrible name. It's got two L's and two I's. That really does your head in. Is it Philip or Philip? Philip, there it is. And Magenta doesn't look right. Have I done something wrong with that name because it's got a spelling error with it? Error. Now, she's gone. I think I got that right. But for some reason, it's telling me it's spelt wrong. So, I probably need a PA. So, if you want to be a PA and work free of charge for me, that would be really. Oh, there it is, Magenta, M A R. 
G A N. Yeah, it is right. It just says it looks wrong. Interesting. So if you are a dirty rotten scammer and you are on these Zoom meetings, why are you using your real name? And then don't worry about it. If you've got your face on here, then I'll be able to do a screenshot of your face and do a Google Vision search and find every photo that looks like you on the internet. It's quite amazing what you can do these days to find people. But what I normally do, if you're wondering, is I actually go to your Facebook page and then I um, search for your name and I find what country you're in. Most of them are actually in America because you guys are sort of real... Easily to, easy to believe in scams. And unfortunately, as I said earlier on in this video, the community they're going after is the black African community with religious beliefs. And they're using their religious undertones. Now, when the Hyper Nation did their release the other day, they talked about things like um, the light will get brighter. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, when I was a Jehovah's Witness, I'm not now, even though I'm dressed up like one. Knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> the Jehovah's Witnesses, yeah, I got kicked out when I was 23, they um, taught us very well about the Bible, and they told us not to listen to any worldly people, and they told us not to associate anyone or listen to people that would preach mistruths to us. Little did I know I was be, being given a whole bunch of lies at the same time, so it was just ridiculous, really. Anyway, back to getting these names. If you want to help me, what you can do in the comments section, if you recognize anyone that I haven't already got on the list, then please do add it in the comments and I'll update the master list at the top. Let's name and, um, what do they call it? Name and shame these people who have, um, you know, scammed people. Just to put it into perspective, that did you know that each VIP five needs to recruit 2,000 people? Now, to be uh, in Hyperverse at the time, you needed to invest either 300 or 400. So let's take the average of 400 times that by five, that is $8 million. Now, every VIP, there's meant to be five of them. So if you times five by eight, whoop, is that right? Yeah, 8 million by 500, that adds up to $4 billion. Now, I've spoke to a few people who have invested $80,000. And one guy rang me up, told me his mate invested $80,000. And he thought because he's investing $80,000, he must know what he's doing. So he invested $5,000. And I've heard of stories like that all day long. So this could be a $10 billion scam. Who knows? And people like Keith Williams and Kalpesh Patel have been creating multiple accounts, which might not seem like a big deal because if you went into the bank and said, hey, I want to open up 21 accounts, well, the bank say, oh, can't do that. It will bankrupt us. It will make us crash sooner. Of course not. But they were putting these empty accounts underneath people they were recruiting, knowing that they were good recruiters. So literally scamming the scammers. And Kalpesh Patel, I've heard that he was taking out a million dollars a day from Hyperverse before it crashed. And I originally heard it was $10 million a month, but I have actually seen him in an ATM machine taking out $35,000 at a hit. And now he lives in Dubai in the 56th floor of some building uh, overlooking, um, you know, in Dubai, which must be an amazing lifestyle. But that's where your money's gone. And now people are complaining that they're not even getting their initial investment back. And the only reason they think that they are going to get the initial investment back is because they've been told it by a corporate who doesn't exist. And people still believe that people like Ryan Zhu and Sam Lee are involved. Now, we haven't seen Ryan Zhu since December 2021, which is good 18 months ago. And people still believe that he's involved. Now, when they did the launch of Hibernation, there was no... There was no one involved, like, um, there was no mention of Keith Williams. There was blockchain, uh, sorry, Bitcoin Rodney, um, Kalpesh Patel, Brenda Chanda, all these, um, they've all taken off and started promoting uh, Nova, Novatech or Novatech Group or WeWe.Global or Apollo Group. And these are other Ponzi schemes because when the money dried up, they had to go get a job. And they couldn't get a real job. They want to continue promoting Ponzi schemes. So these people that you are looking at in these meetings are not Joe Bloggs, Danny's, or Martha's, or Mary's. These are people that go there every week to learn how to train, how to scam people. So these people need to be exposed. They need to be broadcasted on the internet. So when people do their research on people like Danny DeHeck and they search Google, they will find articles about how these people are scamming them. I'm on a crusade. I'm working full time at exposing these people for po promoting Ponzi schemes. I'm sick and tired of people getting away with it. I'm risking my reputation. 
why don't you help me just by hitting the thumbs up button or subscribing to my YouTube channel and hitting that bell to be notified when I do my latest videos. Now, if you are um, trying to help me, then what I'd recommend you do is go to a web browser. What, what am I doing here, Danny? Go to a web browser, uh, go to my website and go to my contact us page and put your name um, and your email because I might want to ask you a few questions. If you want to keep our correspondence anonymous, then please do in the subject line put anonymous and I will not tell anyone your name or will not share any of your details to anyone. We'll just have a private correspondence session and then put your message in there. If you want to put the timestamp, you can post it directly under the video. So you go down to here. Now see how the timestamps work? Work. They will come up just like you see here and people will be able to click on this person here and it will take straight into that um, video part of them talking and that's what we're trying to do today. All right, and if you go down a little bit further, you can add your comments in here, and then I will get the comments and I will update um, the times. I also repeat the show notes, as I call them, uh, in, in the pinned at the top, because some people don't realize how to get into the show notes, and it's a wee bit tricky on a cell phone. So let's go back to um, my video. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. There we go. And let's carry on. And I'm looking for names. I'm doing it as we go. And we're also broadcasting some of this live on YouTube at the moment, even though I'm going to do a video um, once this is finished. And I have, oh my God, not too much. Nine, 11 minutes to go. Whoop, sound. Thank you. Thank you for your time, guys. Thank you. Happy Thank you. We all want to be family. Thank you so much, everyone. Great. Thank you. God bless everyone. Wow. God bless everyone. I mean, do you really think God is going to bless these people, Keith? I mean, what the hell are you thinking? I mean, you're a scammer, and I don't even know how you sleep at night, and I've had the joy of saying that to your face. And now you're telling everyone to God bless everyone. And what does God bless really mean? Is it Robin Hood, God bless? You make me sick. Hi, Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I've got two noises going on. Is that me or you or them? Oh, it's me. It's Mr. Sorry about that. I wonder what that was. Thank you, Tammy. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, I mean, it is like a drug, really, isn't it? I mean, that's what's happening here. I mean, people want to be part of community. I mean, you know, a lot of people go to church because they want to be part of community and they don't really have a belief in the Bible or God or Jesus or Satan or the serpent or Lucifer or the archangel or the 12 apostles or Noah or Adam, Eve, Steve, what do you want to call it, right? And um, But they want to be part of a community. And the hyper community is such lovely people. I mean, do you really want, you know, to be part of a community where you know that the objective is to build a passive income so that you've got a nice, cozy lifestyle and that you can live your life better than everyone else's? I mean, okay, who wouldn't want a passive income? Who wouldn't want the money? But do you want to be sleeping in your flash little bed in your nice little house thinking that you scam people to get there. I mean, I travel countries. I've been to 35 countries. And the last trip I did was China, Bangladesh, and India. There's a lot of people in India and Bangladesh who really are on the bones of their ass. I get most out of those people. They take me back to their families, and I get to meet their families. They make me lunch. I went out with the Bangladesh family. He had about 10 of them, and he paid for my lunch. And he, he wasn't wealthy but that's the type of people I want to hang around with. I don't want to hang around people that want to get greedy. So what about you? I mean, is this so important that you need a passive income, that you're prepared to train up how to use sales techniques, NLP training like Keith Williams and Kalpish and Brenda Chanda and um, Bitcoin Rodney have used so that you can scam people out of money? I mean, come on, guys. I mean, hey, we all make mistakes, but these people need to be named and shamed. These are not people being sold to. These are people that have bought memberships and are wanting to be recruited on how to get more members under their belt. They don't, it's not like, oh, I invested in Hyperverse and I didn't know it was a scam. These guys are well aware it's a scam. I mean, how do they sleep at night? Hey, Keith. Yes, in their place. Be positive in our world. <laughs> person needs an audio check. So if you just tuned in, what I'm actually doing is building up a database of people that are scamming people. And that's what that, that note is all about. So as I've said all the way through this video is if you recognize people in these photos and I haven't got their first and last name, that's what I'm after. Because this database is going to be really useful to give to the authorities so they can help track these people down. And if you think you can hide on a Zoom meeting, when you go into a Zoom meeting, they say, are you aware that this has been recorded? And you click yes, you're giving people like me um, the privilege of being able to broadcast this around the world. So your privacy is basically gone, unfortunately. So if you recognize people in here that I haven't got on my list, by all means, post it in the comments section or go to my website and tell me the name and the timestamp of this video and I'll update this and I appreciate your help. I'm a one-man band fighting Ponzi schemes. Give me a break. Help me. Do I really have to sit here and watch these these people? They do my head in. Anyway, I'll um, go back to listening to all the goodbyes, which theoretically is the most fun part of being in these Zoom meetings. Everyone goes, I love this part.
Bye, everyone. Ronald, bye, 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 Right, I'm just going to stop that one there for a while. Um, James Slaw, you are a scammer. Slaw, is that right? And we've got, um, see, when you're dyslexic, having a, a, sawn, a sawn off shotgun, that's not right. Uh, a shortened name isn't making it very easy. So this is terrible spelling, but let me get this right. So we've got E L G. E, and then we've got Ali, which is probably lowercase, unless she doesn't know how to spell. Like my last name is D Hex, so D E is normally lowercase, so I presume she's the same or he's the same. See, I don't even know if these are males or females. Anyway, that's what I'm doing, so any help would be much appreciated. Thank you, Oh, I'm just going to stop it there while I take down a Pierre. I can't even say it. Joseph, is it? I think I already got him, actually. I'm going to double up here a few times, aren't I? So what have we got? Any other new ones? Derek Wilson. Oh, I don't know if I've seen him, but let's go Derek. Capital Derek Wilson. Is it Wilson, do you reckon? Wilson. Yeah, it's all of it. Wilson. Derek Wilson. Ronald Bassey. I think I've already got him. That's cool. And, oh, here we go. Joshua. Uh, Josh. Uh, you. And then Sim. Oh, I think I've got that one because it rings a bell. All right, let's carry on. Not long now. Let's get this bread, baby. Bye. Bye. Amazing. Thank you, Thank you for all what they do, Thank you for And keep some Valerie. Thank good you. energy. Thank you. Good energy throughout the week. Thank you, Valerie. Let's keep our eye on the prize. Valerie. 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 Thank you for the blessings from this group. Mm. One love, my brothers and sisters. One love Amen. to you also. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Valerie. God bless. Thank you, Valerie. God bless. Thank you, Valerie. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Valerie. 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 Thank you, I, I can't pronounce his last name, but it's there somewhere. And also um, Bitcoin Rodney. And they're now promoting, um, I think it is um, wewe.global or it could be Novatech. Uh, they're the two that a lot of people have gone over to. Now, do not be tempted to get involved in these Ponzi schemes. These guys are the ones making the money and you are the idiots if you fork out any money, especially with these NFTs. I mean, these yellow box NFTs, I reckon they've sold 70,000 of them. So it's been a flop. $70,000, $100 each is $7 million. It's nothing. It's nothing in comparison to what these guys have scammed people out of in the past. Hey, Brenda. Everybody, have a great day. Bye. 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 B
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice family. Judith iPad. That's a funny name. Wow, that's the youngest person yet involved in hyper fund or hyper capital or hyper verse. But the time you get old enough to be legal enough to take it out of it, will open a bank account, this will be a joke. And you may be watching yourself on the internet. Hey, hey, come out. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, family. Love you, guys. We take it long saying goodbye after the presentation. Wow, that was a uh, painful, and I hope you appreciate me going through that experience. So I am Danny DeHeck, and this was a name and shame video. This is the police lineup of who's who. These are people that are scamming you out of your money. Well, they're not just scamming you, they're, they're, they're ringing people up and they're befriending them, and then they're asking them if they're interested in getting involved in a Ponzi scheme. Well, they don't say it's a Ponzi scheme. They have been given a script to read. They have got all the answers. A good example of this was when I were a Jehovah's Witness. Now, if you get um, do an experiment next time a Jehovah's Witness knocks on your door and you say that you're not interested and you think that is a cunning idea, the answer to I'm not interested from a Jehovah's point, a Jehovah, an ex-Jehovah's Witness point of view is to say, is it Jehovah's Witnesses that you're not interested in or is it religion in general? Now, out of politeness, most people will say religion in general. But if you want to stand up to the Jehovah's Witness, say the other one. And then they say, well, I can understand that because a lot of the mayhem and the wars and the famines are all derived from religion and false religion. Would you be interested in knowing whether God intended the world to be in the state it currently is? May I share a script with you? Now, honestly, that would be a better reply, and I would get the people talking to me longer if I used those replies. These guys in these hyper community rooms, especially when Kalpesh was there, he did a real good job. He left when he ripped off he scammed the scammers, which is brilliant. And now, uh, and he's 
done some really good sales technique training. Now, these are all polished salespeople. It doesn't matter what argument you think you have. They will have an answer and they will con you. Well, they will say, look, only invest what you're prepared to lose, which is the dumbest statement ever. Are you prepared to throw $300, $400, $500, $1,000 dollars into the street? No, you're not. You don't want to invest in something that you think you may lose. And if it's such a good thing, then why would you be worried about losing your money? There's no worry, you know, but it is. It's high risk investment. The only people that get their money out are the people that you've just spent the last hour, 20 minutes of your life watching. Now, if you really want to help me, it's not rocket science. You go to my website, you click on contact us, you put your name, you put your real email address, put anonymous um, in, the, in the box, and then I will um, keep it anonymous, I promise you. And put the name and the time stamp, the time that you saw that person on the video, I will go back into the video, I will open up the show notes, and I will update this. Now this will be a name and shame video. I want to be able to give the authorities um, access to these videos so that they can um, see people actively in, engaged in promoting and learning how to trick people out of their money. I can't do this by myself. I need your help. Go to my YouTube channel, click on subscribe, um, and then hit the thumbs up on the videos that you watch, if not all of them. This will tell YouTube that you like my videos. And this will tell them to share my videos within other YouTube areas. 50% of my videos actually get seen um, by uh, people within YouTube. That's where I get my traffic from. So do your part to help fight, fight um, what do they call it, Ponzi schemes, simply by hitting the likes up. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed some of it. I'm now going to do a short video showing you how Kalpish Patel and Keith Williams were encouraging people to um, set up multiple accounts so that they could profiteer from it. These guys have scammed the people in the community and we need to actually put a stop to all this activity. I'm a real big supporter of passive incomes. I help people um, in business. I own a business networking company in my hometown. I get people together physically and we all talk about business and we help people survive and thrive. That's what I do. And I, I don't believe in get rich quick schemes. I believe in starting a business, having a dream, building a clientele, buying a product, providing a service, putting a profit on top. And at the end of the year, you go away to your accountant and you go, how did I do this year? And he says, you're broke even this year, Danny, is normally a good thing for me. Or you've had a good year. You're up 50% on the year before. That's what good business is all about. So don't think there's a get rich quick scheme out there. We live in a have now world. Children leave school, they expect to have a high paying job and they expect to have a house and have their own home by the age of 21 and they think they can get rich quick. In the real world, the one that I got brought up in, it doesn't work that way and it really pisses me off when I see these people stealing from the poor and giving to the rich. Do your bit, help me fight cybercrime. I'm Danny DeHeck and if I do it right, I might even be able to go out singing my music. I'm Danny DeHeck, and this is my YouTube channel. Help me fight cybercrime. Help me expose Ponzi schemes. That's what I do. I need your support. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, or leave a comment, and make my day. Thank you.